Hello. The European Commission has just proposed a new package of legislation, which will be the rules for renewables from 2020 up to 2030. What does this package do? Well, it's five things. First, there's a binding EU-wide target that renewables must be 27% of Europe's energy by 2030. Now, there won't be binding national targets for 2030. Instead, every country in the EU is going to have to write a national energy and climate action plan which details what renewables they are going to be deploying every year between 2020 and 2030 and how they're going to meet their fair share of the EU-wide binding target. Second, every country in Europe is going to have to give three years visibility of the support that they're offering for renewables, the auctions that they're running, what volumes they are auctioning, when the auctions are taking place, the budget that is available. They're going to have to give this clarity to industry three years up front. And at the same time, they're no longer going to be able to change their policies and their support schemes retroactively. Third, there are some changes to the rules about the priority that wind and other renewables have in the electricity system. All existing wind farms will keep the so-called priority dispatch that they currently have. But new wind farms from 2020 onwards won't have priority dispatch. Instead, the deal will be that wind farms will be among the last to be curtailed when there is congestion in the electricity system. And when they are curtailed, they will be compensated for that. Fourth, wind farms are going to be operating in a fairer electricity market than we've had before. We're going to be able to sell our electricity closer to real time. And we're also going to be able to sell it to help balance the electricity system and make it more reliable. And fifth, there are some good new rules on permits for wind farms. Every country in Europe is going to have to have a one-stop shop for the award of all permits relating to a project. And there'll be new, tighter deadlines by which countries have to ensure that permits are awarded for projects, especially for repowering projects. Right, so what happens now? These are only proposals from the European Commission. What happens now is that the 28 member states of the EU and the European Parliament negotiate what the Commission has proposed. It could be up to two years of negotiations. What we have to do now as the wind industry is work very closely with the national governments, with the 28 member states and with the members of the European Parliament to make sure we get the best outcome from these negotiations and the best rule book for wind up to 2030. Thank you.